there is a side effect to becoming prayerful that you may not know now that you have prayed i want you to listen the moment you submit yourself to prayer you are in a position of a dangerous risk that i must tell you listen 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 do you know why because the law of the altar is that the moment you submit yourself to prayer watch this your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit become alive and become heightened and these if satan cannot stop you from prayer the next thing that he does is to appear as an angel of light that's why i said listen to what i'm about to teach you many people's deception started because of the health of their prayer life many especially those called into the apostolic and the prophetic ministry i will tell you most of the error the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that some in the latter time shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. It is a risk to suddenly be open to the realm of visions. It is a risk to suddenly be open to the realm of encounters. Because as a naive believer exploring the realm of the spirit, anything you see in your vision can be told you that it is God. Listen carefully. There are people who went up the mountain sincerely and came back with ordinances that were not from God. There are people who sincerely submitted themselves to days and weeks of prayer and fasting and came back with spiritual templates from the realm of the spirit but not by the Holy Ghost. There are people who came back with their organs activated along the lines of the prophetic. Sincerely, they were not wrong people when jesus went to pray who did he meet in the wilderness please talk to me <laughs> when your jesus went to pray i thought prayer should drive the devil but guess who was waiting for jesus in the place of prayer after praying for 40 days with fasting i thought you would see satan shaking and running away satan was patiently waiting that means when you give yourself to prayer it's not only angels you are attracting the realm of the spirit because it's the prayers of the saints are like an incense that rise and there is a signal in the realm of the spirit there is somebody who is assuming that formation of the glory and satan will take advantage of your sincerity that's why i said promise that you will listen to this teaching again that is the reason why those who submit to the ministry of prayer alone are in danger did you hear what i said i've told you prayer is not everything prayer does act prayer has its ministry but many people have shut down on every other provision that makes for the growth of the saints and they have immersed themselves in a bid to access power the only thing they know and the only thing they may have done sincerely so is prayer and most of them have come with all kinds of erroneous things doctrines so someone will tell you in the place of prayer I went somewhere in the spirit I don't know where and I came back with a message I came back with certain things and you will see a semblance of power and it begins to graduate until it becomes like the doctrine of Balaam. There are many things today, respectfully speaking, that have polluted the sanctity of the altar in the body of Christ today. It did not come by the ministry of wicked men. They were not wicked. They were sincere people who did not understand the full scope of the training. And they chose one aspect of the training and left the rest. And the devil cast in on their sincerity and revealed things to them that have become a destruction to themselves i know people who prayed and prayed until they had mental problems have you seen people like that and even while they are mad they are praying in tongues it looks like a mockery to god eventually they will take them to the hospital and sedate them no genuine prayer does not lead to that but i told you there is a risk 
because it exposes you and you encounter all kinds of spirits and every spirit is speaking so you will hear a spirit from the realm of the spirit loud and clear and you say go and stand by the road and because your heart is already inclined to obey you will say yes lord and go and stand but you find out that the more you obey that spirit that formation of christ has stopped you are becoming like something else that is not christ this is where the next training comes right please the ministry of the word the second key that helps the believer to become a person of stature is the ministry of the word is god helping us acts chapter 20 please and verse 32 acts 20 and verse 32 acts 20 32 and now brethren he says i commend you to god and to the word of his grace I'm hearing God is speaking about someone and he's saying he's averting death from the family. This is, this, yes, of course I know everybody but as I just mentioned that scripture, I just saw a coffin and I had it in my spirit. I don't know who I'm speaking to but anything that has vowed that your family, maybe your loved ones, maybe someone is sick in the hospital, in the name of Jesus here at this conference, I stand in partnership with the graces that are in this house and I declare that you are escaped from death your loved ones are escaped from death in the name of jesus christ hear me the sound of mourning will not be heard in your house listen up i commend you to god he says and to the word of his grace watch the assignment of the word Number one, it is able to build you up. Number two, it is able to give you an inheritance among them. Not among everyone. Among them that are sanctified. I commend you to God. I commend you to the word. It is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified this is very very powerful second timothy chapter 3 and verse 15 second timothy 3 15 second timothy 3 15 timothy second timothy 3 15 very powerful scripture and that from a child so when did you start that word project from a child thou has known the holy scripture he says which are able to make you wise we don't just become wise we are made wise by the word when you say someone is wise i'm not talking about sophia the world's wisdom superior wisdom that comes from above we don't just have it we are given by the word when you interact with the word you access supernatural divine wisdom and the bible says wisdom is connected to mighty works in fact it says wisdom is justified by her children the presence of wisdom is validated by the results that follow don't say i'm wise if your life is barren of results are we together it can make you wise unto salvation it can make you wise the Bible contains the wisest perspective, God's thoughts, his modus operandi, as far as any and all matters that pertain to life and godliness is concerned. When you ignore the word of God, you may have heard me teach it, but let me just say it here, that essentially the Bible contains three things. Number one, promises you may want to write. Number two, principles you may also want to write that. Number three, prophecies. So every time you open the Bible, you are interacting with three dimensions of realities. Number one, promises. God's commitment to you. Number two, principles. The modus operandi of the kingdom. How God operates. Number three, prophecies. A compass that guides you into a meaningful life. 
in the midst of all that happens in society we are not surprised today because the bible is a prophetic book it already told us darkness shall cover the earth any believer that is grounded in the world should not be surprised being shocked and surprised is proof that you have not accessed the wisdom that comes with the world did the bible not say perilous times shall come did the bible not say nation will rise against nation kingdom against kingdom those are not principles that is the prophetic operation of the world but you can find the promises deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass for instance it says if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day that these blessings all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you it says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you promises there are conditions tied to them then there are principles the bible tells us through parables that the kingdom operates this way and it will use a story to illustrate a biblical principle for instance there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. there is he that withholdeth it's not a promise that is a principle When you reject the word of God, you have rejected access to superior wisdom. When you reject the word of God, you have rejected access to superior wisdom. And the Bible speaking about wisdom, it says, By me kings reign and princes decree justice. He said, With me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness, that those that seek me early will find me. There is timing to wisdom. You must seek it early is someone learning now this is the year that you must obtain grace go and get pastor's materials and settle down don't say i was there when they preached it faith comes by two kinds of hearing the hearing that gives you information and the hearing that gives you understanding it comes by hearing and hearing awareness and comprehension just because you are aware that that subject matter was discussed does not mean you have received Is someone learning now yes you know most believers are careless about the word and they do not know please look at me show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of Jesus we want to enter please do not allow the devil deceive you that the word of God is a is, is a necessary luggage that you have to carry contained here are stories of people who have gotten what you are looking for is it prosperity you will find it here is it the lifting power the Bible here written here was a shepherd who became a king written here was a prisoner who became a prime minister how high do you want to rise that the word of God does not have something to tell you written here are dead people who came back to life the bible archives their testimonies in the book of hebrews 11 he says for by faith the elders obtained a good report then you begin to read through faith this happened this one happened he says the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope apostle right now my health is failing go and read the book of job and i will show you a man health failed and it was a global news and yet he still came back apostle you don't know how much i've lost still read the book of job and see a man who was the richest in the east and everything plus his children died but i love chapter 42 and verse 10 of job it says and god restored job when he prayed for his friends that he had twice the things that he lost everyone who rejected him suddenly started coming and the bible says everyone brought him a piece of money apostle people misunderstand me in my office go and ask joseph and his trouble with potiphar's wife good people can go to prison too but they only go to prison to end up in the throne the prison is where good and bad people meet together just like the cross but I can tell you sincere people don't remain in the prison the same way sincere people do not hang there and remain there
for as long as you think the Bible is such a dull book that does not have anything to tell you in our contemporary world, you have fallen into the trap of Satan. How about people who became so wealthy and forgot God and misused the money? Go to the book of Ecclesiastes and watch the repentance of a fallen man. One who had everything you can ever imagine. The preacher wrote confessing that everything my eyes desired I had. Do you know what level of loss that is? That you don't have control. Anything your eyes saw, you carried. And instead of reading many books, there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul. Hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear God, he says, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Show me the level of wisdom you have by the depth of the word that you have put in your spirit. Don't show me by your age. That's a risk. Don't show me by where you travel to or didn't travel to. That is a risk. I only call you wise to the degree to which I see the word of God resident within you. The wisdom that comes with age is profitable but very limiting in the light of current realities. The wisdom that comes through academics is very useful but you have seen experts to their knees. The things that are happening in the world today have caused people to rethink their concept of intelligence. But there is wisdom that comes from above and that comes by the word for someone God is telling you don't allow the devil keep deceiving you you may not have a job but you have a Bible start there use the time and start there father open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of your word and you will find where it was written concerning you the Bible says in Luke chapter 4 that Jesus came and the scroll of Isaiah was given to him and he found where it was written concerning him there is something written concerning you but you must find it when he found it he said this day is this fulfilled in your eyes say in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to be serious with the word five minutes one verse that may be for a baby Christian but the challenges that that are looking for you they require a plethora of scriptural wisdom to deal with you cannot afford to freelance your Bible study life you just pick one verse and say can you send me any verse to comfort me now you need to be serious you need to obtain grace I'm, 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 it's my charge with every sense of, I'm, I'm not the reading type I don't really like the Bible like that let me tell you my brothers and sisters when a patient is sick and they tell him swallow this one three three hours or six six hours whether you like it or not the doctor is not there to see all your tantrums. You have to make up your mind. It's either I want to be well. Is that true? He says they are life to those who find them. They are not just good news. They are life. When the Bible says something, he said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my saying, it says. Do not let it depart from your mouth. Keep it in the midst of your heart. Then it says they are life, not to everybody, to those who find them and health to their flesh. Your security is based on your knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. Fear and loving God today and doubting unnecessarily tomorrow is because the word is not settled in you. I tell you if you make this year the year that you sit with the word. Some of you need to go and look for a bookstore, buy a Bible, buy a material or whatever, whether electronically or what. Just settle down and say Father, I, I obtain grace. Spirit of the living God, breathe upon my mind. I'm tired of swinging like a pendulum from pillar to post. Based on the things that happen around me, I can for stability and that by the word Jesus himself knew what to do may you know what to do this year please shout amen again don't be the kind of person that celebrates a message on Sunday preach preacher and you are not listening by Monday you don't even know what to do when you stand before situations and circumstances scriptures like arrows should come out of you and they are like weapons you know what to do 
when someone says over my dead body for you to rise in this office you don't have to argue and start shouting you know what to do there is a mystery you surround yourself with mysteries like chariots you know what to do it's like calling your pastor a woman and he begins to cry is that not an issue of a disturbing issue there is a depth of revelation that has translated to trust that settles within you that you know I'm a man not a woman so if someone says I think you're a woman that's, 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 thank God bless your your perception and I pray there will be enough doctors who help you when it becomes but as for you you are settled that's the same way when someone says you're a failure you don't just speak unbelief no no I'm not a... I already know There is a speaking that is out of fear, but there is a settled reality. This is not pride. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. He was not lying. Are we learning? The ministry of the word. Please, if you, if you don't get anything among the things that I share today, leave this place with a renewed passion to stay with the word. Make it a project. It takes discipline. Concentration is not a gift. You have to settle down and make up your mind. Sleep, hold on, I'm studying. You will enjoy me when I sort some things in my life, but for now you need to stay. Don't join people who, the Bible says on the seventh day God rested. You are resting on the second day. We only rest on the second, on the seventh day. Many people are resting on the first day. Resting on the second day. A CEO that has labored for years is now resting. You who just graduated, you are also resting. No, sir. Let's learn from scripture. We rest on the seventh day. You're just starting ministry. No influence. Nobody knows you. We are not even sure whether you are saved or not. And you are resting. I must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day. It says for the night cometh. When no man can walk again. Are we together? The Bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat. You find that in scripture. Then you go and apply it. Seven o'clock you get up and you open your business. You say, what are you doing? I'm just starting. It takes diligence to establish credibility. Someone can be sleeping and people will call him because of a relationship that has been built for 10 years. You are just starting. Don't lie down and expect somebody to call you. We are still together please obtain grace to stay with the word obtain grace this running from pillar to post minimize it this year and settle down let's come and knock the door of your house and say look i'm studying not because i have a sermon to preach because i have a destiny to fulfill there is a mandate upon my life and I will not fail. Lord, open my eyes. And you are studying. And light from heaven enters you. And like someone who is drunk, you begin to rejoice. It says, I found your word and I did eat it. And it was a joy and a rejoicing to me. I sense in my spirit that David's Christian Center will record phenomenal testimonies this year. That, listen... There, there are supposedly, for want of word, ordinary people, pastor, who as at this conference may be sitting quietly, but by March, when they come to stand here, they say, my life is a testimony that the word produces. Listen, carry beans or maize seed and keep it on top of your table. It does not grow. Because although it is seed, there is something you must do with it. Are we together now? Yes. Many people have gotten precious seeds, wonderful seeds, but we are not engaging it. The ministry of the word. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.